Seen John Numbers versus Gil. The Except last thing you won in your grand finals is a Wii Fit trainer. <laughs> <laughs> The that lab. may just be what you get. Yes! <laughs> Hopefully it goes to O. <laughs> so I can go home. Not, please not, please not. <laughs> nah, we are in grand finals, of course. It is numbers sitting very, very prettily in winner's side. Dill has to get the 2-0 and then a reset to hopefully claim victory over this really, really beautifully stacked Xeno 292. But before then, we have to get through what is the robot of John Numerals, Mr. We Fit himself? That is We Fit on the screen. It may be a woman, but it's We Fit. I mean, it's John you're Numbers. Talking about robot John Numbers, he is already starting the download, and this is where it gets scary. Having John Numbers in a winner's side position is you know he is going to be gathering that data, and even if Dill is able to get that reset, that's that's just knowledge. Yep. You, know, you can just throw away a set for knowledge. Absolutely. And you saw the little bit of Numbers knowledge that he was spewing out here on commentary. So what we can see it in action. We see it right now that Gyro into the dash attack and to the up air catching the high recovery that Dill likes to go for as a safety net But numbers is unafraid of actually chasing you up there with that up air All right trying to get a little bit of a juggle started with that up tilt But not quite finding it and instead now Dill is pushing John to the ledge, but not you know, Not uncomfortable there All right John weaving outward to avoid that back air you're wobbling. You're wobbling. You do be In wobbling. In my favorite game? <laughs> All right, exit outside from Numbers, but now we're back off stage. We're getting hit by the Nair right there. Back off stage we go, but Numbers, that's where he likes to be. That's where he's very comfortable until you get a taste of the down air that you've been in not think air one today. Yep, finally, John, you know, usually able to weave outside those sort of edge guard attempts, but that time just going straight for the ledge and getting caught for his troubles. Ooh, the yeah. reverse movement coming out, keeping that sun salutation a little bit more safe. Kind of a weird trade, though, getting Dilla dragged down. A little bit weird trade right there, indeed. Thankfully, numbers getting a little bit sidetracked by that gyro, and I mean, we will see it in time for Dilla to get some extra damage off the gyro into the down tail, but we're going to be parrying off of that sun salutation and getting hit by the sun soccer ball in your favor. You got to either parry the soccer ball or you got to parry the sun salutation. You can't have both. All right, and you can already see John enacting that sort of uh, gyro counterplay that we are used to seeing, grabbing it out of the initial dash and just throwing it upward, keeping it out of play as long as possible. Oh, Aegis Reflector, but the gyro falls off. Still able to take advantage of the chaos and find a grab for her troubles, but only a little bit of stage positioning. And uh, just yeah. kidding, it, it yeah, worked John? out perfectly. Yeah, John? John, that, did, yeah, John? I don't know if you saw, John looked down at his controller when that happened. Like, like, like he was going to see Wii Fit come out the screen <laughs> and down the floor. <laughs> like, but my pick controller thing, we don't know. We don't really we don't really know about all that. But thankfully, John Numbers, it will kind of take it back to a more, uh, more restrained game for himself. Where now we are able to see him really showcase what we can do. And even though we did get the, the SD, it is what it is as Dill showcasing what she can do instead, get that, that nice ledge. Uh, oh, oh yeah. falling out of the up air was a little bit too low to stay in that uh, that shifting hitbox. Yep, and instead that refreshed the uh, ledge invincibility for John, giving him the space he needs to make it back into center stage right now. 102 on Dill, but 72 on John. This is really anyone's game one. All right, deep breathing, back throw, and John setting up the sun salutation, not getting caught by that gyro. All right, but getting caught by the Dill classic, the shark. Oh no, but catching Dill mashing. Should be fine. And we're back here, back to the other side of the stage. Running out of that gas at the very last second, able to air dodge back, thankfully. But oh. Numbers is on top of it. He gets this beautiful armor to rock the ledge. Sean tried to catch the re-grab with the down tilt, but I think he just misspaced it, and instead Dill was able to find an arm rotor for it. That was so smart. Stop, oh. that was actually really smart from John. Excellent mix up on the recovery to avoid the rotor arm rotor. That would have absolutely been taken anyone else, but numbers on top of the game, the tech in place. All right, but just All right. floaty jumping in and finding the back air, Dill shaking her head like, that was the most telegraphed back air in the world. Everyone knows he wanted that back air. Done it Not twice just now. One, two, two, three. two of them. He did in the second stuck as why I want to say, where he just kind of just jumped and then boom yeah, back air. Just that beautiful arc. They're very pretty. I can't lie, it's a very pretty back air. That. <laughs> <laughs> the color jump scare. Of course, I'm blind. I have contacts in for a reason. 
I have a negative vision, baby. All right, so Dill bringing us to game two of Grand Finals right back into Small Battlefield. Does have Dill's usual music counterpick, though, with that Burning Town. But we're going to see if t this is the last game Stop. of the evening as Dill is using a lot of gas down there to try and get some sort of back air on John Numbers. And you saw John actually have the confidence to go and chase her for a second with the soccer ball, but thankfully having the sense to come back up because we know that our recovery is not cool. like not like Mr. Mr. Raw, bro. But thankfully, our singing situation where Dill is kind of in a nice position right here on the ledge in the center stage as well, trying to keep control of that spacing. But Numbers able to get the grab into the up throw, into the up air connection. And you see another situation where now the back air is going to be really, uh, really outspacing what Numbers can do off stage. Yeah, I love the delay there from Dill on the, uh, the follow up, able to set up that back air to hit right through the header. Now, John with a bit of a re grab situation here at the ledge, misspacing the header, so not able to uh, not able to follow up there. You can see John with that mash technique in the player cam, getting caught by the uh, gyro though. Now, Dill with a stock lead. Finally, so, but is it really a stock that we have deep breathing active and ready? Coming in with the aggression, Numbers waiting for this high recovery option where we're going we're to see Dill land, or we're going to see her land on the platform into the center of the stage and get these beautiful dash attacks into the forward areas as well. Yep, and with that high recovery it comes wasting the deep breathing timer, making sure that John has to work that much harder for the kill. Already taking 51% for his troubles and just all of this chip and poke damage from Gyros. And the Gyro just interrupting the soccer ball there. Incredibly unfortunate for John. There we go. All right, one big old Sun Sal taking that la that first lock off of Dill, but definitely not, you know, impossible. This is because we are at the same time situation. Dill has been seen, oh, I'm sorry, Numbers has been seen taking these back to even game extremely, extremely quickly with deep breathing active and ready. What Dill has to do is exactly that reverse situation into her own favor, narrowly missing the Sun Sal with the low profile of the gyro saving her. Oh, but the, the laser. Nair into up smash. That's big damage for John, bringing us into dead even percents right now. But the gyro catching John off guard. And that was what I called that. All right. <laughs> 133, we're basically at dead even percentages only. Oh, John, what are you doing going way up there trying to catch Dill off guard with the hula hoops, but Dill not biting, and that is a free punish. Oh, and that's big damage on the whiffed grab. The patience from Dill right there, knowing that Numbers is going to want to run up and grab when you are kind of saying still waiting for what he's going to do. Super, super smart. That's the winner. That's, that's, at this point, this isn't even a character matchup. This is a player matchup. That's, that's just the win that she has over uh, John. But at the moment, she is really racking up the, the numbers as we see. Right, the numbers. <laughs> as we see. Oh, nice, miss, nice, nice weaving away from the back air. But now we're back off stage. What can we do here? We have deep breathing, missing the laser, interrupting the arm rotor right there. Yep. Dill shaking. Dill shakes her head every time she gets hit by a soccer ball. Oh, but the drag down oh, up there, huge. catching the tech roll as well. All right, let's see if Dill can finish her plate here with this edge guard. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. Numbers came back. Oh, I think I think Dill was dead anyway. But yeah. I mean, you know, just getting and that stage spike to uh, secure it. Dill coming down with that classic invincible arm rotor, trying to catch John doing something. But John with rage and with deep breathing. I mean, really Still careful. not out of the realm of possibility. The big guy really careful here, though, is, of course, those aerials that John likes to go for. You see Dill really charging up those uh, those up pairs because you know you want, them, you, want, you want that really nice off-the-top kill. That Nair's going to take it, oh. and that forward air is going to secure it. So the forward air just bopping John on the head as he's trying to make it back. Also, at the start of that clip, the soccer ball bounced off of the gyro back into Dill. It was very funny. Shaking. I, I get what she's shaking her head. I would also shake my head if I got right? bounce it's on. Like that happened to me? He brought my own gyro hitting right. the ball into me. John with the, the snake eater music counterpick. Battle, All right, we're getting ready real fast. All right. Of course, right, let's see care. game three. Going to see if this is the last game of the evening or if Dill is going to take us into a true final scenario. Which would be really, really entertaining to see what would I happen would because given the fact that John does do better as games go on, right? Mm -hmm. Giving him up to six games to play with, 
is scary in of itself. Absolutely. <laughs> this is why we're best of three, is to limit John Numbers' power. But he's only using like 2% of his power right now. If we let him have a best of five at all times, it'd be, be over. Exactly. If you want more information on that, check out John Numbers versus Sinji. Waypoint Cafe, you're stronger than me, but regardless, <laughs> Although we're talking about that right now, we're seeing a much more even game here into our game three. It's definitely what I've been, uh, uh, definitely what I want to expect from our uh, from our premier house of production players right here. Again, this is this is a good team kill. It's, it's so funny. It always happens. It always has to come down to this eventually. All right, dead even for sense right now. Dill at the ledge. Gyro is going to be coming back down in uh, John's hands. But let's see if Dill is able to continue all of this ledge pressure that we've been seeing so far, especially in game two. To allow offstage pressure, which John is definitely going for, was gonna... Oh! Oh! Okay, let the interaction. Saw Dill go for the soccer ball uh, back air, but instead, John going to use a hula hoop to get some extra damage on Dill as we speak. Getting the one, two, three jab, not getting the pummel, however. It's gonna be enough to let Dill not live a little longer. I'm so sorry. There's that F2 coming in clutch. Yep, the deep breathing F tilt catching Dill on the end lag of that spot dodge. And that is John now with a stock lead and plenty of rage to boot. But okay. things gonna be killing just like that neutral air. Love the back and forth we're seeing right here in terms of stocks, in terms of plays. It's, it's like a turn based RPG right now. It really I is. go, you go. I go, you can take a stock. I take a stock. Love to see it truly, but John getting that F tilt, and there's the pump I was talking about. Into the interrupt of the up air. Love the nair from the deal to interrupt that uh, approach option and kind of separate the two for a little bit as you stick to a more long range plan to charge up gyro, charge up deep breathing in favor of John, and of course, you need down tilt trains into the nair. Trying to get it back to F tilt for your efforts, but thankfully, he's kind of taking a lot of straight hits right now. I love the way that Dill uh, dashed back there because we've been seeing John Numbers do that just full screen dash into dash attack a lot. Oh my god, that is an early kill for John and only 27% on the board. This may be looking like the last game of the evening. It may be, but we saw that Hereda Dill game. We. I don't see just on John Numbers, it's my fault. <laughs> Should be fine, got a good amount of gas in the tank to hopefully. Oh, but oh, in this no. economy. Not in this economy. Not in this economy. Gas prices. <laughs> just like that. I didn't think she was going to run out of gas right there. I thought she was going to hover for a little bit longer and then go up, but... Yeah, just kind of... That is how Xeno 292 ends. This, 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 is a, this has been the... Not, not the with Zeno the bang, SD. but with an SD. A lot, of, a lot of just missed recoveries. And it's not even like... It's so weird of today of all days. I'm so sorry my presence today? affected everybody. Um, <laughs> we have a lot today though. A lot of um, those kind of endings to games. A lot of like, oh, I can't go yeah. on stage. Okay. But also the fact that Numbers did do a really good job at just threatening a lot Absolutely. of different options. So it's like Dill was being so careful because we just got headered, right? We don't want to get down here. We don't want to get headered again. We don't want to get the back hit affair. We don't want any of that to happen. Yeah. So what do I do? I do what Rob does. I just float there. Yeah. But then my my gas go away because I just came back from the blast zone. <laughs> yeah, it's it's sort of that same situation that we were talking about before, where it's like you have so many things to look at, you just kind of you lose track of yourself basically, and losing track of the 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 gas usage there from Dill and it's all it's all it takes. It's all it takes. Numbers is the Xeno 292 winner. That is he is two for two on weeklies this week. Um, yesterday taking it over Fawn in a reset at Waypoint, and of course uh, taking it just now over his fellow teammate Dill. But everyone did so well today. Top, top eight is gonna be fired. Same, same amount of people, same stuff. You love to see it truly. But regardless, um, it's 11:15. It is 11.15, so, so guys, really fast. Yeah, before we let you go, just as a reminder, you guys are watching Xeno Weeklies. We are here oh every God. Wednesday at 21 Ludlow Street in uh, Chinatown, New York. Uh, you are watching us here on Twitch or potentially on the YouTube VOD upload. Make sure you are subscribing either way. Twitch Prime is free. Yes, guys, it's free. It it's is, free with Twitch Prime. It's so it nice. It is free. And if you are looking for something with a little higher stakes, this Saturday we have Xenosaga 47 uh, with both singles and doubles starting in at uh, 2 p.m. for doubles, 4 p.m. for singles. We do have two waves as well. 
Uh, so make sure you guys are coming out to that. Uh, exclamation point Xenosaga in chat or check it out at start.gg slash Xenosaga. And of course, after Saga, you can always go to Bombs every single Monday, hosting it. It's the exact same place as Xeno Weekly, but 7 p.m. every Monday. There's no pools. It is a straight up bracket. We're going to go straight through it there. You will be on Quad Stream, I promise. You Your will be. You will be on Quad Stream. It that will be recorded. Promise. It will be there on YouTube for you to send to your friends and family. So, this is our venue for dollar entry for a nice flat $10. And last, but well, one more thing, Time for DTN, hosted or produced by House of Dozen, so you know you can get all the best stuff like last year. So, go do that. We, this tonight is the uh, last day of, this, of the, uh, the discount code, which is House of 3000 for $10 off your registration, which right now will increase on Friday. So, do that like right now. Today and Buzz are literally going, and there's a 1000 guaranteed pot. So, uh, don't be dumb. It's in January, f July 14th to the 16th, which, um, that's summer, baby. Oh, yeah. It's going to be nice and sweaty. So we're deodorant <laughs> that day, too. And last, but certainly not least, House of 3000 themselves, please. The Premier Smash uh, production team. Follow them on, not Twitter, but Facebook and YouTube and Twitch, where you get everything and more, especially on YouTube. So sub, sub, sub to them. Really support them in the New York scene, especially with what's been going on recently with uh, Smash Locals and Smash Venues and Smash Everything in general, because esports is really scary. <laughs> Do consider supporting a small business like them. Yeah, um, and, yeah. And guys, I know you've been watching lately, watching the quad stream and the blast zone and everything level up. That is all thanks to the hard work of Devin3000 and everyone here at House of 3000. So, you know, throw a little subscription their way. It's free with Twitch Triumph, by the way. It's free. So I'm on Seneva. I am back after a very long hiatus. I'm going to be back for the rest <coughs> of uh, the summer and probably the forever. So Let's follow go. me on Twitch. Let's go. As, follow me on Twitter with an extra A because the first one's taken. Thanks, my Eva, with a one A. And of course, follow my beautiful co caster. It's been so long, and I'm so glad to be back with you. Force Armor at Force Armor. Wow, beautiful. Right? So so easy. So easy. Just, easy uh, you, to remember. We love that for us. That's branding. That's bra yeah, that's branding. <laughs> Regardless of the fact that is, you know, 292, please have a great night, and we'll see you later. Thank you have so much evening. for playing Meg Thank you so much. Okay, number. No. <laughs>